All right, all right, let's go, Bourbon Quest. It's your host, Bourbon Steve. Yes, it's another episode of Bourbon Quest. Stay hydrated, my friends. All right, so tonight, we doing a little Jim Beam. We got five different Jim Beam bottles up here. Uh, two of these will be a fresh crack with a pour into the infinity bottle. Um, so I've had a lot of people ask me to do this one. Uh, I've had this for a while. It's a Jim Beam Signature Craft Bourbon Whiskey finished in rare Spanish brandy. Uh, 86 proof. Let's see what it says here. It says, Jim Beam Signature Crafts is a series of innovative whiskey designed to showcase some of the finest handcrafted expressions from our diverse lineup. Each Signature Craft whiskey brings something new, uniquely crafted and extremely special to the world of small batch bourbon. Spanish brandy. A rich bourbon that is carefully aged then finished with a touch of rare brandy to bring you lush, slightly sweet notes and hints of fruit. All right, we'll see. Uh, so there's your uh, Jim Beam Signature Craft finished in Spanish brandy. Uh, we've got a uh, Jim Beam uh, Single Barrel 108 proof that just comes off the shelf. And then we have another uh, Jim Beam single barrel. This one is uh, from Excruges. Um, what does it come in at? Uh, blah, 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 blah. Says the unapologetic and independent spirit made for those who take their bourbon seriously. You damn right I do. 95 proof. All right, 95 versus 108, and uh, what does it say on the back of this thing? It says, uh, Jim Beam Single Barrel is the finest single barrel bottling from the world's most loved bourbon brand. Less than 1% of our barrels of Jim Beam qualify to be hand-selected for Jim Beam Single Barrel, chosen for outstanding taste and color by our expert distillers. Each barrel is individually bottled and hand numbered with care to ensure that each one brings you a unique profile that reflects quality of this Jim Beam bourbon. Jim Beam single barrel is the perfect bourbon to sip and savor. Well, we gonna do that. Hell yeah. All right. Um, and then this bottle I got a while back was not impressed with it. It's a Jim Beam uh, bourbon whiskey finished in PX Sherry cask. It's a hundred proof. I paid like $200 for this bottle. Let's hope it's gotten some air time and opened up, but Jim Beam, um, yeah, whatever they call this damn thing, uh, finished in PX Sherry cask. Beautiful bottle. And then your just regular off the shelf Jim Beam white label, which I tend to be quite a fan of. All right, so let's go ahead. So this is a, a brand new untwisting of just your regular Jim Beam white label. Good, easy sipper. Uh, it is a new, a new bottle. So it gets to join the infinity bottle. Hell yeah. All right. Let's just go down the line here. And then we got this uh, PX Sherry Jim Beam. God, I hope it's better. And we got uh, Jim Beam Single Barrel from uh, McScrooge's here in Knoxville. What the fuck? Oh, that might be another uncorking. I guess I've not opened that one before. No, I have. Pretty sure I have. Yeah, that's been opened before. And then your regular Jim Beam single barrel that you get off the shelf, 108 proof. And 
And then this uh, one that people have asked me to do a review on, this Signature Craft finished in uh, Spanish Brandy. Is it, good? Is it an uncorking? No. The fuck? It's a weird untwisting. America! So, got that. And that's a, a fresh untwisting of some sort. So, we get that in the infinity bottle as well. Let's see what we got. All right, so I guess we're gonna start off with the uh, Jim Beam Signature Craft finished in Spanish Brandy. Mm. Oh yeah, you definitely get very sweet. Get like a really sharp cherry. That's, a, that's gotta be that brandy. But tons of cherry, a little bit of that Jim Beam nuttiness, nuttiness, but mainly we get cherry, orange, apple, like green apple. Definitely cherry though. It's quite interesting in the nose. Very sweet. Cheers, Bourbon Quest. Oh yeah, you definitely get that cherry, that brandy profile with some uh, green apple, orange, vanilla, caramel. Pretty damn good actually. I'm, uh, I'm pleasantly surprised. Just about, I was not expecting high things from this. But very sweet on the nose. Yeah, just tons of cherry, green apple, orange, vanilla, caramel. Mm. Pretty enjoyable on the nose. Very sweet. Cheers, Bourbon Quest. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you get that cherry. I mean, it's not... I mean... And then the vanilla and caramel is, was it, 80, 86 proof? Pretty damn good. I give that a thumbs up. I really do. As always, stay hydrated, my friends. All right. We got the Jim Beam single barrel, 108 proof. Yeah, you get that definitely peanut Peanut with orange and vanilla caramel. Definitely peanut. And then some oakiness, but definitely very peanut forward. Cheers, Bourbon Quest. Mm. Yeah. Nice mouthfeel at 108 proof. Uh, definitely get that nuttiness with caramel vanilla a little bit of a uh, dark chocolate quite good as well mm. yeah very peanutty and oaky good good mouthfeel Kentucky hug uh, definitely get that proof and then caramel and vanilla quite delicious all right let's move on to this uh store pick from excursions some of those same noses on as the first one but just a little bit softer and more subtle i guess at a lower proof at 95 proof but a lot of the same um same characteristics on the nose, just not as robust as the 108 proof off the shelf. Yeah, same thing on the palate, just uh, just 
watered down a little bit. I mean, still delicious. Still get those same flavors, just not as just not as um, forward and uh, and robust as as the uh, 108 proof. This one be a 95 proof. Um, very very similar, just softer and, and more subtle. All right. So I guess we're gonna move on to this ugh, sherry cast one. That based on the last time I had this, I way overpaid for. I mean, very sweet on the nose. I get a lot of orange. A lot of orange. Really orange forward. That's the predominant thing I get on the nose. I don't know if that's typical of, of sherry casks or not, because I don't drink sherry, but, but I get, yeah, a ton of orange, maybe a little bit of apple and vanilla. Cheers, bourbon class. Yeah, it's just, and I, I'm getting cherry. Cherry on the, no, it's, um, it's actually better than I remember from the last time. Now that it's had some air time and opened up a little bit. Still very, very sweet. I mean, it's sweet on the nose. Cheers, Bourbon Quest. It's a lot better than I remember from last time. I mean... And it's it's actually pretty good. Uh, it's not no two hundred dollars good. I mean, and I wouldn't even have said a hundred dollars good when I first had it. But now that it had some air time and opened up a little bit, um, it's still a little bit sweeter than I typically would like on my bourbon. But if you like a good sweet bourbon, yeah, it still ain't worth a hundred bucks maybe 80 and I paid like 200 for this yeah although I tell you it's gotten a lot better it really has it's still not worth no $200 in my opinion uh, but I'm less disappointed than I have been in the past that's if it wasn't for the price point that, that's what kills it two hundred dollars no no way i mean i might go eighty dollars on that which you're not gonna be able to get it for eighty dollars but to me that's all that it would probably be worth in my opinion it is very sweet um anyways let's move on to your old standard Jim Bain, Bim Jean, or whatever George likes to call it, which I'm a fan of. Yeah, it's just peanut. It's like, I mean, it's peanut, but it's like it's like wet peanut. Ugh, this might not be a good bottle based upon the nose. Which I normally like, you know, as a budget daily sipper of Jim Beam White Label. But I'm getting like a, like, yeah, just a soggy, wet peanut. It's not good on the nose. Mm, I hate to say that, Bim Jean. That, that nose is not good. Mm. It's like... Ew, a soggy wet peanut. God, I hope it's better on the palate. Cheers, Bourbon Quest. Yeah. That's not good. And normally I like Jim Beam White Label, but this one is. This is a bad bottle or something. It's like, 
it's like wet, soggy fucking peanuts. They, they took the fucking peanut shells, drenched in beer and people's footprints from Texas Roadhouse or something and put them in this bottle. Oh, that's not good. And I hate to say that because I, I normally, I mean, as a budget daily sipper, I, I usually like the Jim Beam White Label, but, ugh. Yeah, it's like soggy peanuts with a touch of red apple, but. I think that's the first time I ever said that's not good. Not good at all. I want my money back on that one. I mean, it's. I mean, I normally like Jim Beam White Label. I mean, for what it is, but God, that's awful. I may have to see if I can get my money back on that one. I think that's a tainted bottle or something. That's not, that's not good. I mean, I don't, I wouldn't even use that in a, a fucking mix or an old fashioned or anything. That's horrible. Uh, luckily, I keep all my receipts and listen, I mean, when, like, I mean, I bought this unknown, I bought this unknown. They didn't deliver, but they weren't, they weren't horrible. They weren't, um, they didn't advertise what they didn't deliver. But I think this is a bad bottle. Like, I'm going to pull my receipt and and ask to get a new bottle of this because that's that's fucking horrible oh god that's bad man i that's the first time i've had like a uh, a well-known bourbon that you know, tries to create consistency that has been horrible. I mean, I've never had a bad Jack Daniels one number seven or a Wild Turkey 101 or an Evan Williams Black Label. And normally I like the Jim Beam White label and that's not it like something bad happened in that bottle so I'm I'm gonna have to pull my receipt and see if I can't get my money back on that I mean granted it's like what a $22 $20 dollars bottle it's not the end of the world but that's not good but I will say, I want to take another sip of this one because I paid $200 for this fucker. And I didn't think it was good, but now that it's gotten some air time and stuff, it's, it's a lot better. Mm. It's actually pretty damn good. I just, but it's not two hundred dollars good, which is what I paid for it. Like eighty dollars, yeah, all day. Even though it's a little uh, sweeter than what I typically like in my bourbon. 
so I mean, it's 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 definitely sweet forward, um, but and it's nowhere near two hundred dollars. I I mean, like the most I would pay for it now, having tasted it, would be eighty bucks. And I don't even think you can find this anymore. But yeah, and I will say. This uh, Jim Beam Signature Craft. I don't even think it's around anymore, but it, that's actually pretty damn good. I got it for like fifty, sixty dollars. Uh, I've been saving it. People wouldn't ask me to do a review on it. Which I'm glad to do, but unfortunately, I don't think it's around anymore. If you can find it, I think it's I think it's actually freaking fantastic. Um, and and the single barrel that 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 fucking win. I would say my disappointment is that while they say only 1% goes into Jim Beam single barrel store picks, that yeah, may be so, but I think the off the shelf single barrel was better. I really do. Yeah. I mean, don't get me wrong, that, that McScrooge's single barrel is good and offers a lot, but I think it's uh, slightly less than the uh, off the shelf Jim Beam single barrel. All right. All right, I should stay hydrated. There you have it, the drink through of Jim Beam. I mean, the only one that was bad was the white label. I, I think I got a bad bottle. I really do, I'm gonna have to see if I can't get my money back on that. But hey, thumbs up. Uh, Thumbs up, yeah, thumbs sideways, yeah, I'm still going to give this a thumbs down. I mean, it's gotten better, but it's nowhere near what you should pay for it. And this, today is a thumbs down because I, I got to get my money back on that one. That's a bad bottle for whatever reason. But hey. Listen, we're going to uh, close up this video, hit that subscribe button, smash that like button, ring the bell for notifications, and hey, leave a comment. That's all I'm saying. Please subscribe. I mean, we're trying to get, we're, we're, we're like 150 away. To, we, our goal is to get to 500 subscribers and then we get a cat as a mascot. That's right. It will be named Q for Quest. And that, that will be freaking fantastic. Alright. Love you. Good night. And hey, may all your BIM dream. No. I'm just kidding. We want to say that we hope that all your bourbon quest dreams come true. That's right. Ha <laughs> ha. Oh, I love it. That was good and disappointing at the same time. Can I find the off button? This right there.